this thing will continue to grow and it'll be like um, call them Fred I think after you have a plant for two or three years you gotta name it so Fred here's been with us a couple of years you know you just keep eating these leaves you know, these are nice if you want to use them for decoration and that but we usually leave those on keep eating these and like I said you know he's he's been with us for this is going on the third year you know, we were away for two weeks and uh, nobody's taking care of anything over here let's see that's our kale it's got a couple of you know, bad leaves down here that we have to get rid of but you know, if we're not taking care of it for two weeks you know just leaving it he's done pretty good at see our little beets y'all have seen this for I think about six months but we just keep we keep eating the leaves we cut the leaves completely off when we uh, went out of town took those juice with us and then you know some more grew and within another couple of weeks to be you know full of leaves again uh, this little experimental container with pot choy it's painted it Puff them back up, and uh, I don't know. That's a whole lot of, you know, that's past the micro green stage. But um, I was just gonna let that dry up so I could start over, and, and my wife put a little more water in it and puff back up. So probably gonna make a salad out of that. Cut it down, put a little ginger, soy, garlic, a little agave. Be good. Amaranth is doing good. Our beans. Like I said I didn't expect any beans on here. You saw before I left it just started to have some flowers. But basically this was my sacrificial plant because as you can see the leaf miners love it. And I found out that they like this better than my pak choy. So since these like sprouted really easy and I put them over here, the leaf miners all attacked this and they stayed off my pak choy. So this was basically going to be my uh, um, sacrificial plant. And so I just left it and before I left town, there's a little flower right down there. Started, started flowering. So I just left it and Sunday when I came home I put one gallon of water in it because it was getting dry. And uh, I came back yesterday. It's full of beans. Down here, this is our basil. And that's the shard that y'all saw me uh, a couple of weeks ago. Took the tomato plant out, planted our shard in it. And I'll show you another picture. Let me see if I can find it. But, um, what do you call it? Came back right before we left town. We cut all the leaves and left the little baby leaves on it. So this was all trimmed down and we took it with us. Look how, look how pretty those leaves are. And we took we took those with us so we could have food when we were on the road and left this here. Nobody did anything two weeks, come back, got some more food. And what we'll do is we'll just keep trimming those top leaves, putting them in our juice, put them in our salads, spring rolls, what have you. And this thing will continue to grow. This basil, if y'all can afford one of these containers, this was, uh, I think about $12. But let's look inside. Yeah, see the roots are good. Oops, lose my basil no algae because it's dark and this thing's only used about one or two gallons of water um, and I haven't done anything to this basil except for cut it and eat it so they're starting to fall over I might have to try and secure that but yeah we did before we left town we took this and cut it all down 
so you, if you, you keep cutting down your basil and you got these little shoots and you can actually break these off and put those in another net cup in water and that'll grow roots you have a whole new plant so everyone knows basil is kind of easy to grow but um, if you put it in a, a normal container with soil you're gonna have to keep watering it and then if you forget to water it it's gonna end up like the mescaline mix over there where you know it's just dried up and died but this honestly I haven't done one thing to this except for cut basil and eat it I haven't added water added nutrients um, you know it's to totally carefree and uh, so all we do is just come up here and we have we have food to eat don't what we might do is if you do find a you know there's a little pesky leaf miners get on it you know just take that off and, and get that away from here but you know totally carefree system you know for less than 20 bucks margarita pizza and uh, uh, capri salad um, so we'll just let those guys go we'll just keep keep uh, keep cutting them and keep eating them and uh, I won't feel any nutrients into it I'll, I'll give you all updates and see how how much uh, it uses um, but I'll tell you what because the basil is easy to grow and I got it all over the place this basil I'm not even going to add anything to that even as it gets low. We're going to see how long it takes for it to use all of that. And the nutrients, I'm not even going to mess with the nutrients. Mm -hmm. 